everyone. Here's Lucy. We think it's very important, you know, for future au pairs to know actually what is really uh, the au pair job. What do you need to do, and what can you be expected from the host family, and then, of course, uh, what the Netherlands can offer for you, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, so my name is Sabrina. I'm 22. I'm from New York, and I started the au pair journey back in July. I actually began with a different agency, which I. Wasn't completely satisfied with really, so I found Sunshine, and ever since I've been with them, I definitely feel like my all pair experience has really amplified in such a positive way because of my host family, but also because of the agency themselves. Really, <laughs> um, yeah, they're so knowledgeable and just skillful. They've been in business for so long. The I and D holds them very um, highly esteemed, and I think that's also important to have somebody that really knows what they're doing. To have a team of empowered women to know how to, you know. Empower other young women like myself that want to be an au pair. So I'm very happy with my experience and my host family. I also got very lucky with because I'm American and they're American. So we're both kind of navigating the Dutch culture, learning it together, which has been very rewarding. And they have a baby, so she has been as well <laughs> exploring the Netherlands with us. But she's ten months old, so. Not sure how much she'll remember, but there'll be great pictures for her when she's older to look back on. So I'm excited for the rest of my au pair experience here. I have another what, like nine months, I believe. Yeah, yeah so I'm here till July. The Netherlands is a great place for anybody who has a、um, a big heart for children to come to and explore. I think that Dutch children are super smart because they're taught at such a young age to incorporate English into their daily routines of life. I've had such a great experience with the Netherlands itself, and I've traveled all around Europe before coming here, like a year ago during COVID, actually. And Amsterdam, the Netherlands has stuck out to me a lot. And not to mention, I've been traveling a lot to. Different parts of the Netherlands. I went to Rotterdam recently. Today we're in the Hague, and I think that the Netherlands is so diverse, and you cannot get bored here. If you're somebody that likes new culture, that wants to learn a new language as well, Dutch is a super interesting language. So I think that I implore any young woman who has, you know, experience with childcare or teaching education, that definitely come here and start your au pair experience. Yeah. yeah, and you was working as a nanny before in New York, right? Yes, you told me. How are the differences between working in New York and in the Netherlands? It's a very good question. <laughs>、um, so I was doing very long hours in New York, but it went by very quick because I've really built a relationship with the children I was nannying for. The Netherlands has a cap at thirty hours a week, but I think that the time that I spend with my host family it makes it feel like. It's not 30 hours.、It、makes it feel like 10 hours a week, which is great because you want to have a job you like, and an au pair, being an au pair with the right family, is definitely a job that anybody could like if they, you know, if they enjoy both children and if they're honest with themselves about the type of host family they want.、Um, but experience as a nanny in New York was very fun too. And I think that I prefer though being an au pair. <laughs> Honestly,、yeah. it's been I got more time for yourself. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's also you know like here today there was so many girls that I got to speak with that are also au pairs that come from all different parts of the world that actually have some common you know interests and similarities which with which is interesting to see because they are from different countries. So I think that being an au pair creates a community where you get to meet other people that are doing the same. Thing as you, so you got only one kid in at home. Yes. What do you do actually? Can you maybe tell them、uh, your daily routine? Yes.、So、perhaps what do you do for in the house, and what do you do with the kids? Yes.、Yeah, so they have, like I said, a ten-month-old baby, and it's really cool because her name is Brooklyn, and I'm from New York. So <laughs> I just think that's awesome. And she was born on Thanksgiving. So and that's it's just like we have this whole American dynamic going on.、Um, she okay. This baby is an explorer. She is going to be walking before. Other babies her age, I I guarantee it. She、oh. is quite the explorer. Very she's, strong. Yeah, she's strong. <laughs> she's so sweet with the dog.、Hmm. Um, she does a lot of extracurricular. I think you could call it that. Even at her age, with the mom actually. So my day starts pretty late. I know a lot of our pairs, their days start at like seven a.m., eight a.m., but、mm -hmm. some of my days start at like eleven a.m., which is 
late, you know? And then it's lunchtime, you know, nap, and then playing, and then dinner, and bath, and sleep. And I've really gone down the bedtime routine pretty quickly because we were unsure if how it would go since no one else has ever put her down before. And she really took a liking to me with the bedtime routine, which has really made the host family's lives much easier. They've been telling me they're, we're all very satisfied and happy with each other. And it just, it's very rewarding, I think, for everyone. I just, I love their parenting style, and it's something that I really respect, and that I also will follow. As, like, I would never over, you know, step or anything, mm -hmm. but I also just, I like the way they parent. I think it's great. They have a great routine, um, and they're so loving with her. So, it's, it's really amazing to be around babies, but I'm also very enthusiastic about this age group, and by the time I leave, she's going to be like 20 months nearly and I also really love that age group the babies and toddlers I love them so yeah it's a very I think my unique my experience here as an au pair is unique and I'll get to see a baby grow which is very rewarding and sweet and it's I'm really so happy with everything that Sunshine has helped me with that the host family has helped me oh, with you too. Make your like, way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, it just I I feel like I have a perfect situation in life being here. I think with this family, like we're very close. Mm. So it'll be sad leaving. Yeah. But I don't wanna think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Children bike here yeah. at a young age. I don't know how to ride a bike. Oh, really? No. Oh. So that's why that's I, one of the things you have to learn. I know. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that's like a goal of mine to learn okay. how to ride a bike and that the host family they wanna teach me how to ride a bike. Okay. So but it's funny because these children are like five years old, they speak two languages, maybe three, maybe four, and they know how to ride a bike. I'm twenty two, I yeah. speak one language. <laughs> no, I don't know what I like. <laughs> but actually, everyone cannot compare to each other. I That's think true. We are so different. I know yeah. we grow up also differently, and then work with the host family. And the host families are also different. Yeah, everyone has this unique experience here in the Netherlands. And for us, we think it's also, um, it's not. Uh, I think the au pair makes their own year unique and together with the support of the agency and then host family and we make a complete year together exactly yeah. it really takes uh, three parties once you find that good match perfect match really it could be whatever you want it to be the most out yeah. of it which yeah you can't waste time here there's so much to do like, yeah yeah there's so many people to meet and just it's really great